What up guys, Real Touch Gmail here and today I will be doing a platformer tutorial. Now this is just the basic engine for it. Uh, in later tutorials I will be doing enemy uh, enemies, falling objects, portals, uh, and any suggestions you guys want. I'll probably think of think of some stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and just made a player to start out with just a box. You can make that as creative as you want. It's just made a box and the ground and uh, it's just a black square. Now for the object, uh, for the OBJ ground or whatever it's called, the platform that he lands on, you know this. Just make it solid. Uh, that's all we really need. I just made a simple room here with the, my guy in there. Just yeah, just make the ground solid and um, that's all you need for the ground. So now for OBJ player, go ahead and get in there. Uh, we're gonna need um, some gravity to start out with. So we're going to ahead and create a script. Now the reason we're creating a script and not uh, just putting it in the player is because we are going to be using this gravity script a lot with our enemies and you know who knows what what we'll use it for. So so we don't have to write out all that code or some more we'll just put it in a script so I'm gonna call it SCR gravity and I'm gonna say uh, if place free parentheses X comma Y plus one bracket gravity equals 0 0.5 else gravity equals 0 up here. Um, okay, so what this means is if he is in the air, we're going to head and set gravity to 0 0.5. If he is touching the ground, though, there's not going to be gravity, so uh, it's not going to be pushing him into the ground and it'll be all glitchy and stuff. If we don't have this else, gravity equals 0. This place free just is just checking if he's on the ground. There we go. So in the OBJ player, in the step event, we're going to set some code and we're just going to say script execute uh, parentheses and then our script. So SCR gravity. So now he should be able, he should have gravity set to him. So now what we're going to do is create the movement. So we're going to say uh, if keyboard check parentheses VK right um, and then we're gonna do the and symbol twice that just means and if if you're pressing the right key and this happens I don't know why I have to put it twice you just do but we're gonna do place free X plus 5 comma Y and then we can put the brackets in and we can do um, x plus equals 5. So what this is saying is if you press the key, uh, the keyboard, the right arrow, and 5 pixels in front of you is free, there's no object or anything, it's going to go ahead and go 5, five uh, pixels in front. It's going to start moving. So, And you can set this 5 to whatever you want, by the way. But we're just going to go ahead and copy that and press the left. And instead of plus, we'll do minus. And that should work. Um, he should be able to move left and right and have gravity set to him. So let's go ahead and test it out. Okay, so he's got gravity and he falls right through, which I forgot to do. What we're going to need to do for the OBJ player is collision with OBJ ground. So we're going to set um, move contact solid um, parentheses direction comma 12 and we're gonna set the V speed to equal zero so move contact solid just means it's going to check if there's a solid and if the solid is there uh, it's going to stop in the direction that it's, that it was at at the max distance just set that to 12 there's no just set it to 12 and uh, the V speed is 0 to actually stop it 
So now we can go ahead and test out the game. There we go. He can move, but he cannot jump because we have not set that yet. But it looks like gravity is working just fine and everything. So let's go ahead and set the, uh, so he can jump. So we're going to do if keyboard check pressed because we don't want him to just, if he hits up, he'll just keep floating up. So we got to check if it's pressed. VK up. Or if you want space, you can do VK space. Um, I'll, I'll do space. So we're going to do if keyboard check VK space. We're going to do that and symbol again. Place free X comma Y. Uh, uh, plus one. Now we're going to do the curly brackets. Um, v speed minus equals and we'll do like 15 um so this is going to check if um if the ground is underneath him then he's going to go ahead and jump so let's go and test it out now Okay. Oh, wow. I was um, pressing the up arrow key. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so. Okay, um. Yeah. Uh, for the step, you gotta put the uh, an exclamation mark in front of the place free. This just means not. So this should not be. So. If he is touching the ground, okay. So if he is touching the ground, then um, he can jump. So um, as you can see, he can jump. I'm pressing space, but he cannot jump until he is touching the ground. Next tutorial will probably be a uh, double jump. But yeah, this is the very basic uh, platforming engine. And uh, yeah, go ahead and like this video if you like the tutorial. And uh, if you want more, and um, go ahead and subscribe if you like my tutorials too. Um, yeah, so yeah, I guess I will see you guys next tutorial. Thank you.